Most traders believe that a flat stock price means very little opportunity to make money. But to options traders, that exact price pattern can be a gold mine if you understand option strategies. Options are the only trading instrument that allows you to make money if a stock doesn't move at all. All you need is to be able to spot an easy price pattern and the knowledge of the simple option strategy that exploits that pattern with astoundingly fast returns. So if that interests you, this video was made for you. Hi, I'm Seth Freiberg, and I'm the head trader of SMB Capital's Options Trading Desk. SMB Capital is a proprietary trading firm located in Midtown Manhattan, and we provide capital for options and equity traders from all over the world, trading both remotely and in our offices here in New York City. Now, I'd like to suggest that you click on our subscribe button right now so that you don't miss any of our free trading videos that we post for traders and investors all over the world. They're really very valuable. Okay, so as many of you may know, the price of gold has been selling off since early March down about 20% off its highs for the year. And most market analysts tie this to the strength of the US dollar, which is causing many commodities to take a hit this year. And as you also may know, traders often like to trade gold mining stocks as a kind of a proxy for trading gold. And so it should be no surprise that gold mining stocks are down quite a bit this year as well. And in fact, if we look at Newmont Corporation, which has a ticker symbol of NEM, which is the world's largest gold mining company, you can see that it has lost more than half of its value since earlier in the year. But what's interesting is that since August, Newmont has largely been consolidating in a range near its lows for the year, trading in that 40 to 46 and a half range for about two months now. Now, stocks can consolidate into trading range like this for a number of reasons. There's an argument that while all the bad news about gold's price is already baked into the stock's price already, that without the U.S. dollar cooling down, the price of the stock simply won't be able to break out to the upside. And so the price is kind of trapped in that range near the lows of the year. And so for day or swing traders, a stock trapped in a small channel might not be very appealing because there might not be that much opportunity for price movement potential to set up an attractive trade. But for options traders, we actually love when stocks are channeling because we've got strategies that can cash in in a big way on channeling stocks. Now, before we get into exactly how options traders can exploit channeling stocks for really high returns, I wanted to let you know that if you'd like to learn three more option strategies that our pro traders use all the time, including the unique options trick that allows you to make money while you wait to buy stocks or ETFs at the price you want, and the options income strategy that allows you to make consistent money, whether the market goes up, down, or sideways, and how to make money on a stock or index trade, even if you're outright wrong on the direction, then click the link that should be appearing now at the top right corner of your screen. That will open the free workshop registration page in a new window, so don't worry, you won't lose this video or you can register directly for free at optionsclass.com. Believe me, you don't want to miss this, so pause the video, sign up now, and then resume watching. In order to teach you how this option strategy works, we need to do a really quick review of how options on stocks work so that everyone watching the video understands how they can be used to make really good money on channeling stocks. Now, if you already know how stock options work, just please hang in there. This is going to be quick. Okay, so what's known as a call option on a stock entitles the buyer of that option to purchase 100 shares of that stock at a certain price called the strike price of that option, regardless of what price the stock's actually trading at at any time before that option expires. What's called a put option, on the other hand, entitles the buyer of that put to sell 100 shares of a stock he owns at the strike price of that put, again, regardless of what price the stock is trading at at any time before that option expires. The buyer of the option pays what's called a premium to the seller of the option because the seller of the option is taking the risk that the stock will go past the strike price of the option, in which case the buyer can exercise his option. So in the case of a call, even if the stock is going way above the strike price of the call, the call buyer can exercise his right to buy 100 shares at that strike price. In other words, he's entitled to buy the shares way below market, which makes the call very valuable in that situation. Or conversely, 
as to the put option, even if the market goes way below the strike price of that put, the buyer of the put option has the right to sell his shares of that stock at the strike price of the put option that he's bought, even if the stock price has gone way below the strike price of the put, which again makes that put option very valuable in that case. On the other hand, if on expiration day the stock closes below the strike price of a call, unless it was previously exercised, the call expires worthless and the call seller just pockets the premium. Similarly, if you've sold a put and the market closes above the strike price of that put, then unless the put was previously exercised, it expires worthless and the put seller just pockets the premium. Okay, so with that said, let's travel back in time a little bit with NEM stock to uh, another recent example of when this stock was in a channel just like it is now. And that would have started right around Labor Day of 2021. And it had lasted for a few months leading up to the middle of November, where, as you can see, the stock was channeling between, in this case, 53 and a half and 60 and a half during that two month period. And so let's say that on November 12th of last year, when the stock was trading in that range and had been trading in that range for about um, two months at around 59 that day, suppose that a trader were to head out about a month into the future to the December 17th options chain and went ahead and sold 100 of the 65 calls a bit above the trading range the stock was channeling in for the last few months, and at the same time buying 100 of the 67 and a half calls for protection, and then simultaneously selling 100 of the 52 and a half puts a bit below the channel that the stock had established over the past few months, and also buying 100 of the 50 puts for protection as well. Well, when he does that, the trader has formed what is known to options traders as an iron condor, where you basically surround the market price with short calls and short puts and buy long calls and puts further away from the market price's protection should the stock break out of that range in, in either direction. And so with that as our starting point, let's hit clear on what's transpired here from a cash flow standpoint, which is going to give you a better understanding of how this trade works. And so when he sold the 65 calls, his price was 48 cents. And remember, each option represents 100 shares of NEM stock. So you multiply that by 100. And he sold 100 of those options. So you multiply that again by 100. And so the total cash flow he received from selling the 100 calls was $4,800. And that goes right into his account. But then he turns around and buys 100 shares of the 67 and a half calls, which, as you can see, cost $2,800. And with the same logic, he received $3,400 for the 52 and a half puts that he sold, but he paid out $1,700 of that for the protective 50 puts. So when you net it all down, he ends up with a net positive cash flow of $3,700 into his account. Now, when you enter into this trade, your broker is going to require $21,300 in capital for you to execute the trade, which is also the trade's worst case scenario risk. You can see that we place the options above and below the channel that NEM had formed since early September, and that was intentional. And you'll see why in a minute. So let's now move forward to December 17th, which is the day the options comprising the iron condor actually expire. And as you can see, NEM stock continued to stay in that channel and closed at 59.24 that day. And so now on the day these options expire, your broker will settle those options contracts on your behalf. And to do that, he has to determine if your options have value and if so, exactly what value they have. And so let's take a look at how that would have come out that day. To analyze how this trade comes out, we need to recall that we originally received that $3,700 for entering into the iron condor, that, that positive cash flow. And that's already in your account in the form of cash. And so let's move down to those 65 calls we sold. And because NEM closed at 59.24, those have no value because no one's going to exercise their right to buy NEM shares at a far greater price than they would have to pay in the open market. So those options just expire worthless, as do the 67 and a half calls above that for the same reason. Now, moving down to the puts with NEM closing above 59, then neither the 52 and a half puts that we sold nor the 50 puts we bought, neither of them expire with any value because in this case, no one's going to exercise their right to sell their shares at 52 and a half 
when they can get over 59 for them in the open market. And obviously, they wouldn't pay, uh, sell them for 50 as well. And so as long as the stock closes below the strike price of the calls and above the strike price of the puts, then all four options expire worthless, resulting in the tra trader simply pocketing that original $3,700 in cash he received as his profit for this transaction, which constitutes a 17% return in less than five weeks. And so what I'd like you to take away from today's video is that oftentimes stocks will get into a channel and stay there for months on end. And if the stock continues to maintain that channel, you can simply position your iron condor trade around the upper and lower boundaries of that channel. And in many cases, the channel will continue and you'll be able to just pocket the original cash flow that you received from the iron condor because you intelligently use that iron condor strategy to define the boundaries of the channel. And if the channel holds true, you win. Professional options traders have many tools just like the iron condor to take advantage of different types of chart patterns. And now you've got some of that knowledge yourself to incorporate into your own trading if you can pick up on a similar pattern for stocks that you follow. Now, just to remind you, if you're serious about your trading, you need to check out the free intensive options class that we're currently running, where you'll learn three real world option strategies that our professional options traders use all the time. Just click the link that should be appearing now at the top right corner of your screen, or you can just head on over to optionsclass.com to register for this free workshop directly. It really is a rare opportunity for retail traders and investors to learn directly from Wall Street traders, but that's exactly what you'll be getting through this free online workshop. So click the link to sign up now before you miss it. So now you know the simple and easy to spot price pattern that can be exploited with options to make solid returns relatively quickly. But what if you want even more consistent weekly income? Well, options trading makes that a potential reality too. In the video appearing on your screen now, we give you the step-by-step -step details of an option strategy that can be put on each week throughout the year to help you earn weekly income. Don't skip this one if you want more consistent earning potential.